Cutters come in a variety of shapes and sizes. We recommend you have a few different style cutters in your toolbox in order to handle various situations out in the field. It's also a good idea to have spare parts for all your cutting tools nearby. Service kits are available and have all the necessary parts to keep your workflow from coming to a halt. Let's take a closer look at the most popular styles of cutting tools. While there are cutting tools for diameters from 1 8 to 5 and 1 8 inch tubing, the two most popular styles are similar to this Yellow Jacket Premium Tube Cutter and Heavy Duty Mini Cutter. The Premium Tube Cutter cuts 1 8 to 1 and 1 8 inch diameter tubing and features wide rollers with a flare cutoff groove. Here's how it works. After marking your cut line, retract the tool's cutting wheel by rotating this feed screw counterclockwise until the opening is large enough for the tube to slip into the jaw of the tool. Line up the cutting wheel with your mark and gently rotate the feed screw clockwise until the tool's jaw closes, just enough to slightly grip the tube between the rollers and the cutting wheel. Now gently turn the feed screw an additional quarter turn so the cutting wheel applies a small amount of pressure to the tube. Don't over tighten the jaw or you might damage the cutting wheel and tube. Now slowly roll the entire tool and pay close attention to the score left behind by the cutting wheel. This is your cutting line. From here, continue to gently tighten the feed screw every two to three times you roll the tool around the tube. Taking your time will help prevent the cutting wheel from jumping your original score line and compromising your cut. As with many of the cutters, the premium tube cutter has a spare cutting wheel tucked away in the handle, so you'll never have to worry about being on the job site without a spare blade. It also comes with a deburring blade, and it can be modified with a blunt wheel to double as a constrictor tool for rolling down or capping off the diameter of your tubing. The second most popular style cutter is like this mini cutter, designed for heavy duty cutting from 1 8 to 7 8 inch diameter tubing. This tool features a wide body for an easy grip, large rollers, and a flare cutoff groove. The operation of the mini cutter is identical to the premium tube cutter and is especially useful in tight spaces. The key to making the perfect cut every time is a sharp wheel and patience. Without both, you'll most likely get a cut that is either surrounded by multiple score lines or a cut that has partially collapsed the tube. Let's take a look at what over-tightening the tool's grip really does to the tube. Here is a perfect cut, and here's a cut from a tool that has been over-tightened. Notice the thickness of the tube's wall at the point of the cut. This cut has rounded off the end of the tube, and the wall thickness of the tube itself has been compromised and may crack when you flare or swage that end. In contrast, the tube with the perfect cut has its entire wall thickness intact at the cut end. Along with the conventional cutters we've just looked at, there are specialty cutters such as this innovative tight spot flare cutoff tool from Yellow Jacket. As the name implies, it allows you to get into very tight quarters to remove the flare on smaller size tubing. When you're dealing with an existing application where all you can afford to remove is the flare, this tool is just what you need.